Philly up and coming rapper YBC dude. I'm sure everybody know my now uh, was shot and killed yesterday um, in the only part of Philadelphia. Um, I guess this is the guy who went viral earlier this year for like, I think he like dug up his, his ops grave and shit. Like he did some wild yeah. stuff. He went viral. Um, no, I think he went to No Jumper, had done No Jumper interview. He started getting some buzz off of that. Um, a lot of people said he was like blackball, right? But in some interviews, he talked about, you know, possibly signing with Signal Records. You know what I'm saying? We definitely been telling people about this dude, Jeff Vaughn from Capital Man. He really liked putting money in these dudes' hands and not really getting them out the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's like he only fucking with people that's kind of one foot in one foot out situation kind of similar to empire you know what i'm saying but um they said that uh it was on the 5500 block of north 6th street 3 34 p.m a white hyundai suv was held there i guess he was like in the back seat with his homie just hanging out rapping i don't know what they was doing somebody walked up to the car fired the car up um he was hit like multiple times in the chest his homie was also hit one time in the hand um this is what everybody was talking about yesterday. Did you did you uh, hear about this shit, bro? Yeah, I seen it and I was uh, almost got confused with it being uh, Gilly's son because I thought that was the same letters in front of Gilly's son uh, name before it went cheese. But I don't think it is, though. But uh, honestly, man, I just, man, we at war, man. We at war. I mean, when you out here digging graves and shacking like you digging graves and doing that, man, I know some people don't believe in karma, but karma come back and it come back hard. But the main the main thing to me is that this is basically has to do with war. When you at war with with people, it ain't no limits and no 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 sanctions on nothing, especially nowadays. Motherfuckers don't care if it's Sunday and you taking your mama to church. Hey, that shit was crazy though. Like, bro, literally, I guess it's a TikTok. He went on TikTok, went to the grave or something, and was literally like digging up the dude grave. I know. So reading the story, um, it seemed like this YBC. A uh, group was like terrorizing the city. Um, they had about three or four um guys that was on trial. One of them was just sentenced to like other 85 years. I think it was like 42 and a half to 85 years on a murder. Um, it was two murders back in 2021. Um, they were at war with another group. I ain't gonna name the other group or whatever, but they was at war with another group and a number of other people throughout the city of Philadelphia. So um I believe the uh, Philadelphia police had warned him like, yo, don't live in Philadelphia. Like, don't be here because it's just somebody going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but now nah, he linked up. So this is something that's crazy. So he when he's in L.A., he's in the same label meetings as Bloodhound Lil Jeff and Lil School. I've seen that picture. Yeah, so he links up with them because they all trying to sign to this Signal Records, man. We're we going to get on Signal, bro, because it's something – I don't like that shit. Like, why? Like, why everybody you saying is dying, and you signing dudes and not even giving them enough money to get all the way out the hood, and you really it's like profiting because you're not giving them that much money, so you guarantee making way more money off these streams when they die. You know what I'm saying? Um, like the empire effect. Yeah, but this is breaking news. I don't know if a lot of people reported this. I know yesterday everybody was re reporting his death. Um, some people were like showing a video of a dude on a bike getting shot that that wasn't him you know what i'm saying he was sitting in a car um now this morning a statement was put out by ybc dude's father um and the father got some kind of accusations like it's like a whole paragraph uh that the father he feel like you know his, it's a chance that his son was set up it don't sound far-fetched man nowadays it's like a back door is the new front door so if you uh, if it seem like if you ain't backdooring somebody, you ain't you ain't getting nowhere. It, it's sad because honestly, I, I've been trying to figure this out for a minute. Like, like man, we just got a trend of just treating each other like target practice, bro. Like we we quick to backdoor somebody for a little bit of nothing. We quick to just give up uh, somebody we've been running with for fifteen years low for for a little bit of nothing. Like, at what point does morals really kick in? At what point does your values as a as a man or what you stand on really matter? Because if you're willing to backdoor your brother or somebody you running with, you all bad, you bubble. You to me, you just as bad as a snitch, a pedophile, you just as bad as them. In my nah, mind. facts. Nah, facts, bro. I mean, the backdoor, that shit nasty. So this this what his pop said. 
And he posted this this morning, I think, on YBC Duel's Facebook page. So I know some people was like, like, why did he post it? I think it was supposed to be for like his fans and stuff. But his father went on like a long speech. Um, so he said, I'm going to break it down pretty much. He said, uh, hey, all of my son's friends, I'm Duel's father. Uh, I was handed all of his belongings this morning by close friends. He said uh, he wanted to clear up any confusion about Abdul Vic. That's uh, YBC Dude. He wanted to clear up any confusion about the death because he saw people posting that video. And, uh, you know, his son wasn't on a bike or nothing. He was in a car. And then, like, later on, he goes on to, you know, insinuate very much on some fucking Black Sam type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he, he went on to insinuate that he believed that there had to be some sort of foul play in how his son was killed. Um, His son was sitting in a car. He was with a friend. I guess they were in a neighborhood that they were comfortable in. And he don't understand how a person was able to walk up to that car, shoot, kill, and then get away um, without somebody aiding and assisting. You know what I'm saying? So Pop's claiming the back door and like I said, he went on a, we're going to put it on the screen, but he went on a, a, a long, remember I'll be talking about like, bro, don't, don't, don't type all the fucking paragraphs and shit, bro. He yeah. went on like a fucking long ass paragraph. <laughs> he went on a smoky paragraph. Yeah. He went on a long ass paragraph saying all this shit on YBC dudes official, you know, Facebook page. I think it was. So that to me, I thought that was big news. I don't know if anybody reported that uh, as of now or whatever. I know everybody's reported the death, but. Basically, you know why YBC Dude's father is is claiming the back door. Um, but you know what's crazy is what's uh, up? somebody pe- people going so some people gonna take that as a sign of snitching, right? And the part I, the problem I have with that is since when the fuck we call civilians snitches? But that ain't snitching though. His daddy, I don't but think his daddy snitching. Though? Yeah, I don't, I don't think his daddy snitching. I mean, uh, what's her name? Well, I guess that was a lady though. But Lil Schoon's mom had said she thought it was some back door activities too. I- this summer, you know what I'm saying, we had the death of uh, Bloodhound Lil Jeff, we had the death of Lil Scoom, and now we got the death of uh, YBC Doe. They had a song together, bro, so there's a video out right now with like almost a million views. YBC Doe actually dropped a video for the song he got with them like in late July. And then, I don't know if you saw this, but fucking the same day, yesterday, uh, the one of the YouTube guys uh, dropped a documentary on the most hated rapper in Philly, Mr. Disrespectful, YBC I've dude. Yeah, YBC. Yeah. And, and some people was mad, like, yo, why would you drop that? Because, I mean, of course, they recorded it earlier. They'd be like, yo, why would you drop that on the day he died? He actually dropped it like 10, 12 hours earlier. It just so happened. And it just so happened that within 12 hours of him dropping that, I think it's had like a half a million views in like less than 24 hours at this point. YBC dude is, is gunned down, so I'm sure that video probably has something to do with it. Just about to ask you that. Do you think that uh that might have played a part? Absolutely, bro. Um, I mean, it's one thing to kill somebody family or kill somebody friend, but when you get famous for it, when you on TV talking about it, you digging up graves, which I think is something different. I don't know if the digging up graves shit is the same people or whatever, but whoever he was into it with, bro. He was talking about that shit. He was he was claiming murders in this in his uh in this documentary that just came out. So that probably pissed people off, bro. And they I went and and within a few hours, man, he was dead. 